Hi viewers, welcome to my latest presentation titled Identifying Letter Position in Both Forward and Backward Readings. This topic is, going, is basically meant to help learners at primary school, all actually all actors at primary school. By that I mean teachers at primary school, pupils, parents and guardians as well, because we give them homework to take home and correct. However, before introducing the topic, allow me to open a bracket and thank Mr. Suhel Patel for his unexpectedly timely financial support to me. I wish to say that I will always be ethically indebted to him. I close the bracket and I still open another one. This new one concerns miracles. Why bring miracles here? Because I want people to work hard. We have miracles in biblical records. People walking on water, changing water into wine, resurrecting the dead, and so on and, and so forth. All those are all well and good, but they are biblical references. We know that all Christians believe in the existence of saints. The people we call saints, for them, for them to become saints, they have to, there should be a record that some miracles have been attributed to them. So, yes, in churches and even in medical fields, we talk of miracles. You know, we might, we have all heard from time to time an HIV positive inpatient mysteriously becoming HIV negative. That's a medical, you know, miracle. And we have heard of so incurable diseases. Sometimes the doctor says, you haven't got long to live, but this person outlives. You see, the prognosis, prognosis of the doctor by many, many years. So these are again miracles. Why am I talking about miracles? I'm not a conjurer, but I just want to stress one point. Dear viewers, take it from me. There is no record of educational miracles. In education, we just have to sweat, perspire, in order for us to acquire knowledge. Knowledge acquirement is garnered in two ways. We learn it, we are taught by a teacher, by a book written by someone, by attending interesting academic conferences, even from relatives who are educated and so on and so on. There are many sources of acquiring knowledge, but nothing will replace a formal school. And that's why both the rich and the poor, the terrorists for one man, the freedom fighter for another man, whatever you, you may consider, all genders, everyone is sending their children to school in order to acquire knowledge. So. Once again, I want to re-stress this point. There is just no educational miracles. Let's work hard. Now, I've closed my second bracket. I mean, second uh, 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 parenthesis, that is round bracket. Let's now go to the crux of the matter, the topic itself, to the point. We all know that before completing primary school, children, have to be able to identify all the 26 letters as well as their positions both in the forward and backwards reverse reading. Most questions at grade 7 level contain, you know, the alphabetical order, you know, backwards and forwards. So we should be able to take it, you know, uh, easy that's why we want to help you with some tips in order for us to you know, answer those questions 
properly. And by the way, alphabetical orders, letters are also used in mathematics, you know, for us to make codes and things like that. So when you read, you can read these at your own pace, you will find that the reasons are, especially as far as English is concerned, you know, alphabetical order is extremely important in finding a word in a dictionary within a recommended time or less than a minute, indeed. And should you tomorrow, dear learners, wish to become an intelligence officer, work in the security wing, then you will have to use this, you know, skill on alphabetical order in order to hide your message from prying eyes. That's what we have said there. And so it's a good preparation even for your mathematics. When we talk of mathematics, we have algebra, numbers and letters go together. The, the, the letters are for unknown quantities and things like that. Geometry, the angles, we say 45. Angle A, letters and the numbers go together, as well as some symbols. That's how you make your code. And talking about code, by the way, we advise all of us never ever to share your private code with anyone else or you risk irreparable consequences before long. Well, now we come to the helps themselves. I have two suggestions for this presentation. There is what we call mnemonic, which is a way of creating something, a word or a phrase or even a sentence in order for you to remember certain things that are very, very important. For example, when you say, my very educated mother just served us nine noodles, well, that would tell us the order of the planets in our solar system. So for our mnemonic word, I propose we get a jotty for the forward reading and VQMGB for the reverse backward reading. How is that? We have considered these 26 letters. We have grouped them in fives. So the first E would mean number five. Second J, number 10. O, number 15. And so on up to Y, number 26. It's easier that way to remember the correct position of a letter in your exam questions. The same with the reverse uh, 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 gear, that is reverse reading. V, Q, L, G, B. V for letter number five. Q for letter number 10. L for letter number 15. G for letter 20. And B becomes 25 in the backward reading. So here we are, the letters are there for the forward reading, and an example is there. Before proceeding any further, allow me, dear viewers, to explain that when you mix letters with numbers, when we are dealing with numbers, for example, in a question, an exam question, we have to bear in mind that the four operations of mathematics are involved. And these are addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication, indeed. As for the letters, AJT and VQLB will do. So this is why we have those two mnemonic words. We can also get a mnemonic phrase. Easy joke on town youth. Still, AJT is there. If that can't work, try this one. If still this one can't work, why don't you create even a sentence like for the solar system and say something like, very questions like good boys. We will still get VQLGB. And so that would really very, be very, very helpful, we hope, to help you, you know, get all the marks in your exam paper. So now... We are going to do about six activities, uh, exercises, if you wish, or practices, whichever way you want to call them. We are going to test, you know, your understanding of these methods we have proposed to you, AJOTI and VQLGB. 
in one way or another. And if those we mnemonic words, mnemonic phrases, mnemonic sentences do not impress you, why not make your own? And by the way, you will need this skill of, you know, summarizing like this mnemonic devices, words, phrases, and sentences, even when you go to the university. Otherwise, it's impossible to write everything, you know, you hear or you read. You have to find a way of summarizing. Create your own shorthand system and your own mnemonic words, phrases and sentences. Thank you. Activity number one. We are going to find the alphabetical order of a group of words. We have about four groups, you see, sorry, four words in each group. But the last one has got more, about six or seven. So what, how do we go about it? This is dictionary skill, by the way. In the first group, just from the word go, the, the first letters are all different. That's where we should emphasize. How do we arrange them? The answers for all these activities are attached at the end of this presentation. You will have ample time to read them at your leisure. Here is the first letter difference, second letter difference, third letter difference. We go on fourth, fifth, and they are in red to tell you where you must, you know, emphasize your arrangement of the alphabetical, in an alphabetical order. So like we said here, this one has more than four. They are actually, how many are they? Five. As you can see here, the I and I, what comes after I? O. And then what comes after I? V. Which is before the other one on the alphabetical order? That's the one which would be the first, and then this one will be the last when arranging these two. That's your homework. The answers we have said are at the, as, as an attachment at the end of this presentation. And so now we say activity number two. This is now matching numbers with letters according to the AJT, forward reading. So what letter would stand at number, what letter is number 14? in the alphabetical order. You just think about a jyoti, T, O is number 15. So what is before O? That's the letter you should write here. So it's between, between T, J, and T. 10 and 15. Simple. And then this is the 15 itself. It's definitely O, a jyoti, like that. You go on with each one like that in between. You, know? you don't have to reread everything. That's a jyoti would help you Locate your place between two numbers. If it is 10 to 15 or 15 to 20, it's very simple. When we say 23, then you should find your answer between uh, 20 and 25. And T is 20. What comes after T? U. After U, V. Well, after V, W. And that's the one, like that. Okay? So this is a very useful you know, skill, wherever you'll be going, even in your professional life, you know, once you become, you know, a working class person. Now we have numbers in two words, not in two letters. We give you the dots there, you make them first in two letters, and then you form a word. Like this one, in the agility system, it would give us G-O-O-D, which is good. Do likewise in this exercise. Then numeracy and literacy progression. So in here we are mixing numbers with letters in a certain, you know, order. That's what we call numeracy and literacy progression. Numerical progression and literacy progression. So you have letter, first of all we begin with eight and then we have a mixture, an assortment of letters and numbers. What we, have, what we advise is to start with numbers and then separately. Do them separately. Letters alone, numbers alone. Let's observe the letters in this example. From 8 to 10, we have done the operation addition. And then from 10 to 12 plus 2. From 12 to 14 plus 2 again. So definitely from there plus 2 would give us this. And the plus 2 would give us that. We come now back to the letters. L and N is what we've been given. What has happened here? 
after, what comes after L is M. Then after M, N. So we have skipped one. And again here, from N, what comes after N is O. And what comes after O is P. And that's the P which is there. P itself, what comes after P is Q. After Q is R. That's how we arrange. Then we go to this one. R, we will skip S and take T. T, we will skip U and take V. That's how you arrange them separately. Letters on the one hand and numbers on the other. All right? So now, we would, the explanations are at the bottom as an attachment indeed. Activity number four is the same continuation of numbers and letters mixed together. And we shall proceed in the same way. In these numbers, from three to five, the four operations would be in use. Here we have division, and what we find is a quotient. There, division by two, and then again we add 16. By two, divided by two, plus 16. Divided by two, plus 16. Divided by two, plus 16. And the answer should be put there. We go like that separately. We have already explained here concerning the letters. This is now the reverse gear. You know, backward reading. We start with Z. What is before Z? Y is number two in the reverse reading. And then X is number three, like that. So that's, you know, a task for you to solve. So now, the forward reading, although we have mixed a bit of this backward, is over. Let's now go to the backward reading from Z to A. These are questions that come in grade seven. Activity number five. What's the 14th letter? So when you come from Z to B, eh, so we say, for example, eh, V, Q, L, G, B. So we will be, it is easier to find really the letter which should stand there. From the letters, we come to the words now. The same system. We have different numbers there to be written in letters first and then in a word, like we have done in the example. When reading the alphabet backwards, on number 12, there is letter O. On number 5, letter V. On number 22, letter E. On number 9, letter R. All together will give us over, over. And this is what you two have, will have to do, my dear friends. And this is actually our last activity on this item, uh, backward and for, forward and backward reading. You see, uh, according to the Roman alphabet, we write from left going to the right. Our friends, the Arabic, in Arabic alphabet, you know, they come from the right coming to the left. But, you know, we have to take the languages as they appear to us and we study them. Today, the whole planet is towing the line to improve their English. If tomorrow, China becomes a superpower, Again, the whole planet will tow the line to learn classic Mandarin. It has been like that throughout the history of mankind. After all, English hasn't always been the lingua franca. A thousand years behind, it was Latin. All the intellectual educated people, the erudite, had to show off their knowledge of Latin and Greek. Today, it's like that. Who knows tomorrow? But for the time being, there is nothing else we can do except to tow the line and improve our performances in English indeed. So, mnemonic words, phrases, and sentences will certainly help you, the learner, identify the correct position of Roman letters both ways, forwards and backwards, as adverbs. And by extension, mnemonic words, phrases, or sentences may ease the learning process in all other school subjects from primary all the way to tertiary education. And why not even in actual life? In your professional life, don't you have some, you know, password you have to create, mixing letters, numbers, and symbols? It's part of that indeed. So, we can, you can communicate, you know, <clears throat> confidential information with your friends without, you know, the eavesdroppers getting a wind of it. 
This skill is very useful in finding headwinds and their derivatives in a dictionary, this dictionary skill, within no time. And most importantly, this skill, uh, we are saying, yes, we are saying also this skill will indeed boost your chances of passing English exams with flying colors. So, combining numeracy and literacy has broad applications even in mathematics. I've just, we, we said it in our introductory remarks. Algebra is 2x minus 3y and so on. A mixture of letters and numbers as well as some symbols. I mean, that's how we use these things in order for us to pass the exams with flying colors and impress everyone around, uh, impress first of all ourselves and everyone around us. So allow me, dear friends, dear viewers, to be grateful to you for sharing your precious and valuable time with me. I hope that you have learned one or two things from this presentation. The proposed answers are here for you to peruse. So we go from first letters, fourth letters, seven, everything is there at your own disposal, you know, you can check them, counter check them, and we can continue the debate on social media, <clears throat> like, you know, internet and Facebook and the likes. So all the activities have been answered here as an attachment. And therefore, I wish to thank you most, uh, what can I say, wholeheartedly, for really sparing me your precious time to be with me, a simpleton, for all this time. Once again, await future uh, 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 clips because we were born with nothing in hands. We have to go back where we came from with nothing in hands. Everything we have acquired on this planet should be left behind for others to benefit and push the world forward. Those are some of my principles of life. Again, I wish to thank you for your great attention. And do please subscribe, make comments. No one is perfect. Not even you, you no one is perfect. We are all fallible creatures. So at least this can push us somewhere into helping our children and who, well, you know, the dependents and things like that improve their own skills and make them grow into responsible adults. Thank you very much once again.